I fell in love with Harold Henthorn because he was a handsome, charismatic, very affectionate, kind individual, and he was just what I was looking for. And I just saw a really beautiful future with Harold Henthorn. He loved my kids, wanted to marry him. I knew he was a widower, but he didn't really go into detail, so uh, he told me initially his wife was killed in an auto accident and that he loved her very much, and I was like, I didn't really talk about it. When he said auto accident, are you thinking like a collision? Yes. I, th I, I thought she was killed in a horrible collision. He said it happened at night. And I was just like, oh, that's so horrible. And then in another conversation, he said, I really feel guilty about her death because I was in the car when she died, she was driving and I was sleeping. When Harold was getting to know you, did he ask you about your financial situation? I had a very big house that I had got out of my divorce and I had equity in it and I lived in a very substantial neighborhood. I mean, was it to make you even more attractive to him? Possibly, because he came back. Honestly, today, do you think he left you because maybe you weren't worth enough for him? Maybe he didn't see you as uh, having great cash potential for him. I absolutely believe that after everything I've read because I presented very well on that big house at the estates of 6th Avenue and all of the exotic things that I still had in the home from my divorce. I believe Harold would have potentially married me.